Indian government officials have stated that a naval version of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile was successfully test-fired from an indigenously built stealth destroyer of the Indian Navy. It was announced that the missile was fired from INS Chennai, a destroyer, and it hit the target with pinpoint accuracy after performing extremely complex maneuvers. The Defense Ministry said in a statement, BrahMos, as prime strike weapon, will ensure the warship's invincibility by engaging naval surface targets at long ranges, thus making the destroyer another lethal platform of Indian Navy. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh congratulated the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, the BrahMos Aerospace, and the Indian Navy for the successful test firing of the missile. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why INS Chennai with BrahMos anti-ship missile and Barak-8 air defense system is one of the worst nightmares for the Chinese Navy. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. INS Chennai is a Kolkata-class warship. The Kolkata-class Project 15A are a class of stealth-guided missile destroyers constructed for the Indian Navy. The class comprises three ships – Kolkata, Kochi, and Chennai, all of which were built by Mazagon Dock Limited MDL, in India. These are the largest destroyers to be operated by the Indian Navy. The Kolkata class share similar dimensions to the previous Delhi class. However, they have 2,363 modifications, which include major upgrades in weaponry, sensors, and helicopter systems. They displace 7,400 tons when fully loaded, have speeds in excess of 55 km per hour or 35 miles per hour, and a range of around 15,000 km or 9,320 miles. INS Chennai is the first Indian warship to use AESA or Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, which has four static panels instead of a single rotating panel. The Israeli MF Star has been chosen for this role. It's mounted very high up on a specially built mast. The radar is said to be capable of guiding 24 missiles at once to hit 12 targets. This gives the ship an ability to defend itself against saturation air attacks depending on the number of available missiles. The MF Star is capable of detecting large aerial targets at distances of greater than 300 kilometers or 185 miles and sea skimming cruise missiles at ranges greater than 25 kilometers or 15 and a half miles. The actual values are much higher and are classified. The primary long-range SAM on board the Kolkata is the Barak 8 which has been jointly developed by India and Israel. This 90-kilometer or 56-miles range missile is designed from the start to intercept supersonic cruise missiles, which travel a few meters above the water, which makes it perfect for missile defense. The total load is 32 missiles, though there's easily enough space to mount 64 cells of Barak-8 missiles in the future. A very important feature of Barak-8 is that the minimum engagement range is only 0.31 miles or half a kilometer. So the system can target an incoming hostile object till the very last seconds, potentially giving it the ability to target it multiple times. This enables it to intercept missiles very close to the ship and it performs the role of a point defense SAM as well. 24 Brock 8 can be guided at once to intercept 12 targets simultaneously. The role of CIWS, close-in weapon system, is left to the four AK-630, six-barreled, 30-millimeter Gatling guns 
which is a last-ditch defense against missiles. The main ASW weapon is its twin 533mm torpedo tubes, which can fire long-range, heavyweight torpedoes with a range of up to 40 kilometers or 25 miles. The RBU-6000 rocket launching system complements it. Beyond the horizon, ASW helicopters provide anti-submarine warfare capability. INS Chennai has two large hangars, which can support any modern ASW helicopter. Chennai's main armament is a battery of 16 vertically launched BrahMos supersonic long-range anti-ship missiles. There's space behind the 16 VLS cells for a batch of eight more cells. Depending upon the mission, it can be loaded with eight more BrahMos or some other type of missile. BrahMos is developed jointly by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, and Russia's NPO Machinistroyenya. It's powered by a ramjet engine. BrahMos is one of the deadliest missile armaments in contemporary warships. The reason is its unique features. One, it has a supersonic speed of Mach 3, providing very little time to intercept. Two, BrahMos uses 300 kilogram or 660 pounds semi armor piercing warhead and also has very high kinetic energy since kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of velocity. BrahMos actually has about nine times the kinetic energy of conventional subsonic missiles like Tomahawk. The combined destructive force of massive warhead and kinetic energy is lethal for even the biggest surface warships and bunkers. BrahMos has been known to break ships in half in several tests. 3. It can perform S maneuvers in the final stages of flight. The missile basically doesn't move in a straight line, making it very hard to intercept. 4. There are lots of redundancies in the guidance system, right from the INS, GPS, GLONASS, and GAGAN, making it hard to jam. 5. The accuracy of around one square meter makes it apt for a precision strike on high-value targets. Just a few days ago, on the 30th of September, India tested a new variant of BrahMos with an enhanced range which successfully hit a target more than 400 kilometers or 250 miles away. INS Chennai is a platform that possesses the poison, BrahMos, as well as the antidote, Brock 8. A barrage of BrahMos will be hard to defend against, even by a U.S. carrier strike force, which has multiple Aegis-enabled destroyers and cruisers. Since the missile is almost impossible to intercept, it will be a major headache for Chinese military planners. Even the Renhai-class Type 055 cruiser, which reportedly has a displacement of 13,000 tons and PLAN's most potent surface combatant, could be taken out by a single BrahMos. Barak 8 is an excellent defensive umbrella which will protect INS Chennai from different kinds of threats. Chinese military specialist, while speaking on Indian naval capabilities at a military show hosted by state broadcaster CCTV channel, identified Barak 8 as a key weapon system. The expert stated that the system can counter the firepower of the People's Liberation Army Navy while operating in the Indian Ocean to a great extent. Some experts believe that Barak 8 is the only air defense system that can reliably intercept a supersonic missile like BrahMos. It's clear that INS Chennai is one of the worst nightmares for the Chinese Navy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.